All right, boys and girls, this is our last problem that we're going to be solving. And this is about Kendra and her three siblings. And this time, they have only found one dollar. If they shared the money equally, how much will each person get? So again, we're trying to figure out how much will each person get? And I'm thinking about, well, what is it that we're doing in this problem? We're sharing the money. So if we're sharing the money, we're sharing by dividing. We're sharing the set equally. So just like before, we're going to start with our number sentence. Our number sentence is our total amount being divided by the number of people in our group. And that will equal the amount of money that each will get. So the total amount of money that I have now is only one dollar. And we're going to divide that one dollar into four equal parts. So if I only have a dollar and I'm dividing that into four equal parts, I'm thinking I, there's not even enough for everybody to get one whole dollar. There's not, even, there's not very much at all to be split. So I'm going to start by drawing my picture. And I'm going to start with my total. My total is one dollar. If this is one dollar and I have to cut it into four equal parts, I have to think to myself, well, what could each part be worth? Each part could be worth 25 cents. Because I know that if I have four quarters, four groups of 25 cents, I will have a dollar. So I'm thinking that my answer will be about 25 cents. It's a good estimate. So now I have to go over here and use my algorithm. So we're going to build our house just like we have before. And remember, we're going to put that total amount inside our house. So we have $1, and we're dividing that by the number of people, which would be 4. When I quickly look at this, I think to myself, if I have 1, can I get a group of 4? And no, I cannot. So I'm going to put an X in that spot. And just like we did before, if we don't have enough, we're going to have to add a decimal and we're going to have to add a zero. And we pretend like this decimal point is not even here and we're going to divide like normal. Except before I do that, I must pop the decimal up here. Decimal place value is super important, just like it is in every other item that we've done so far. So when I think about the number 4, and I think about this as being 10, how many groups of 4 will give me 10? Well, if I count by 4s, I get 4, 8, 12. Well, 12 is too much, so 2 would give me 8. 2 groups of 4 will give me 8. And if I have 10 and I take away 8, I have 2 left over. Well, I can't have a remainder, so what I have to do is I have to go ahead and add another zero at this time. And when I add another zero, I go ahead and I drop that zero into place right here. So now I have the number 20. How many groups of four will give me the number 20? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. That would be five groups. Five groups of four will give me the number 20. And 20 minus 20 is zero. When I go back and look at my answer, my answer is 25 cents. And when I go back and ask myself, does that match my picture? Because remember, your math should always make sense with your picture. It does. And we said that when we take a dollar and we cut it into four equal parts, we're going to get about 25 cents each. So that also makes sense. 
So remember, boys and girls, as you divide, you should go back and relate whatever it is that you're dividing back to your estimate and back to your picture because all of this should make sense. Take your paper and glue it into your journal on your next available page.